Let's look at two quotes. I love to give you examples of what artists say so they resonate with the philosophical theories that we'll look at and these ideas that we're, we're grappling with. Because I like to, I'd like for you to see how these ideas have filtered their way into those that are making the art. Paul Cezanne, amazing painter, said, a work of art which did not begin in emotion is not art. Emotion is the starting point, the beginning, and the end. Craftsmanship and technique are in the middle. Yeah. So what I like about this quote is just this, this opportunity for, for this artist to say, it's really about emotion. Yeah, that's the fundamental attribute that he thinks is important. The craftsmanship matters, the technique matters. And we can maybe, um, he, I like this idea that the work of art begins with these ideas, but um, emotion, it starts with emotion. And then at the end, after all of the craftsmanship, we get back to this idea of emotion, that that is the fundamental thing um, that we're dealing with. One more quote, um, and this is um, Henri Matisse. He says, to my mind, expression is not a matter of passion on the human face or revealed by a violent gesture. He says, when I paint a picture, it's every detail is expressive. The place occupied by figures, um, the objects, the empty spaces around them, the proportions, everything plays a part. Now, what I like about this is that immediately points us to that idea that I said earlier, that within a work of art, everything is expressive. Every part of this object has expression and feeling in it. The empty spaces, the things that the artist did, and um, all of it coming together. So um, I like that because it's just not what the face does. You know, it's not just the figure in the emotion. The metal has expression to it as a part of it. Fantastic, yeah. Now, let's look at this idea of expression because expression is quite um, an interesting topic. I sometimes, with words like that, I like to look up, when did that word come into our language? Yeah, expression. And expression, some people will also say emotion. That's another word. Now, those are close. Now, expression is um, from late Middle English, about 1425 to 1475. Yeah, it's a Latin word, and it means to press out. Yeah, so when I express something, I'm pressing something out. I'm getting something from inside to out outside. So that is the expression. Yeah. Sometimes in dance we'll say expression is a kind of explosion. It's an outward action. So a leap, a jeté, is an expression. Yeah. Now I like the fact that 1425, so before then we maybe had some other words, but that is when we look at that single word, it came from that time. Now emotion, some of you will say, well that's similar. Now that Emotion comes from emouvre. Now, emouvre is similar because it means to move out. Yeah, so to move out, to remove, um, to remove the thing that is agitating us. Yes, so that is an expression. Now, what's it's French? It's from a fr the French word emouvre. And what's interesting to me and fascinating about the word emotion is it was first recorded in about 1650, people using the word emotion, emouvre. Yeah. But it was only used at that time for really super powerful emotions. Later, by 1808, it suddenly began, being, it was then used for all emotions that we were using the word emotion. So even the most subtle emotions, you know, we would, we would characterize with emouvre, emotion, 
Yeah. So what I like about that is that we see, and we'll look at the fact that we moved into romanticism when emotion became a big part of art. But what I like about this is that we see that emotions are always around, but suddenly we we as humans became more fascinated with them and more fascinated with them in art and all emotions, not only the most powerful ones. So anyways, that's fantastic to look at where we got these words.